The alien containment unit for your base will allow you to breed fish for food like Reginalds or Peepers, as well as grow pets like the cuttlefish that you see right here. Or breed more dangerous creatures like the crab snake you see right here. Hello everybody, I'm Granddaddy Gamer, and today I'm going to show you where to get the alien containment unit above 300 meters depth. So I'm actually standing on the life pod and we're going to start this from zero point. Now zero point is not your life pod, but it's easy to find zero point in the safe shallows, even if you do not have a PC and you're on console. All you're going to do is look for a little bit of coral tube that's sticking out of the ground. Now there's a couple others, but none of them are shaped like a horn like this. And if you come to this part that sticks out of the water and you put your back to it, they come down into this little valley right here, right next to this arch. This is zero point, okay? This is about dead center of the map. This is where we're gonna start. Aboard, There's a couple things you're gonna wanna do. First of all, come into your beacon manager. Make sure your live pod is active and it's a color that you can easily identify. Everything else I want you to deactivate and if you have the signal for life pod 12, go ahead and activate that and make it a color that you can easily see in the water. If you don't, that's fine because we're gonna be going pretty much in the center of Northeast East and you will not be going below 300 meters. In fact, just because I have a 900 meter depth on this, I will unequip this to give me 200 meters and we're gonna go ahead and get it. So now, if you turn around, you're going to see this, and we're going to go around 1,500 meters away from our life pod. Is why I say go ahead and highlight that, because if you do not have life pod 12, this is how you're going to be able to do it. Just keep the compass between northeast and east and continue to go this way. I will not cut away so that you guys can follow along a lot easier. Every so often, just kind of turn around. You highlight over it. We're about 365 meters away, so we got a ways to go. Let's just keep going. It's actually past Life Pod 12, a few hundred meters. But it's real close. So if you have Life Pod 12, activate that beacon and just go for that beacon. We're going to come to the Mushroom Forest. Just keep going. Now if we turn around, we're about 800 meters away. And so that's how you can judge how far away, how far you've come and how far you got to go if you do not have the Life Pod 12 beacon. Watch your depth here because it's kind of easy to start dipping too low and you'll start taking damage. You're going to see this archway as you start to enter the bulb zone. And there are bone, bone sharks, so watch yourself. They do a little bit of damage to your ship. Just keep going. You got some ampules here as well. They have already gone too low. And there is Life Pod 12 right there. But we want to go see this point right here with this huge bulb. Go to the right of it and past it. Watch your depth. And you're going to see this wreck right here. Right on the other side of this is a data box right there. If we get out and we go ahead and go down. Right there is the alien containment data box. 
If you still haven't found your moon pool and you'd like to know exactly where to get it, go ahead and check out the guide right here to the right. Anyways, I'm Granddaddy Gamer. You guys all have an awesome day.